In this lesson, we will learn a technique for adding moving holds in Maya. A moving hold is a pause in a character's movements. It's not a dead stop at all. There's still a little bit of movement. It's very subtle, but it allows audience members to kind of feel what the character is feeling or get inside of the character's mind so that they can start to understand the story. So they're super effective then. Without moving holds, the character is moving way too much all over the place. We don't quite understand the story. So what we'll do is go ahead and learn how we can add moving holds to add more life to this character. Again, we're working with the idol, and what we'll do is animate a few head turns. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's make sure we're using the animation layer system. From there, we'll go ahead and bring back our controls. Let's grab the head control. We'll need to create a new animation layer. And I'll go to double click to rename it. And we could always call this, let's say, head turns. All right, sweet. So once we've done that, we then need to figure out a moment when the character should turn its head. Let's say it's waiting at a bus stop. If dinosaurs had such a thing then, probably not. But hey, it's our story, right? So let's say we have that happen on about frame 20 or so. We'll have that action start. I'll go to frame 20. We'll press Shift E to set rotate keys. Now let's go to about frame 28 or so, and we'll have him look screen right. So over to his left. Fantastic. Now, let's say we go to about frame 55, and we'll have him rotate his head in the opposite direction, almost as if he's looking at us. All right, sweet. Now, if we were to go ahead and play the animation back, let's have a look. So that first head turn works, but the second one is way too slow, right? So let's say we go ahead and use the moving hole technique in Maya to fix this. Here's what we can do. We can go to a moment where we would like to use a few values as our hold values. For example, if we were to go to about frame 35, we can basically take all of our rotate values here, and we can now transfer them to a later frame. So watch this. Let's go ahead and middle click and drag on Maya's time slider. You'll notice that the animation does not update, but we're still able to scrub. So this is a great way to transfer poses then. Watch this. Let's say we go ahead and move to about frame 47. Now let's press Shift E. What we've done is we've taken the values that we have captured on about frame 35, and we've now brought them to this frame, 47. So you can see he still remains in this pose. Take a look. Let's go ahead and left click and scrub. And now watch this. When we go from 47 to 55, we get a much faster head turn. How cool. Let's hit play. Sweet. So you can see how much more realistic that looks. So that's essentially how we can go about adding moving holds. Again, they're very effective because, I mean, from this animation, we know that, hey, he's actually looking around. Whereas before, it was like, what's happening with his head? It's way too floaty. Uh, I don't like this idea. Don't like the story. I'm not going to watch this animation, right? But now it's like, okay, cool, I get it. He's kind of looking for something. Maybe for the bus. <laughs> but either way, we've learned how to add moving holds. If you want to improve the animation even further, you might add a few arcs. And you can learn more about that in our 12 principles course. We can have the head arc down on about frame 24 in between the turn keys. So he'll arc down and then look up. There we go. That's more natural. And then we can have that happen on about frame 51 between the second turn. So then we'll just go ahead and rotate the head down in the x-axis. I just selected that axis, and we can then middle click and drag to update that value. And there you go. When we hit play, now we have something that looks even more natural. Fantastic. All right, so now that you understand how to add moving holds, to an animation, I would highly recommend you experiment on your end so that you can start to get more comfortable with moving holds and study reference so that you know exactly how and when moving holds should be added.